Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's James Kuzno here, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. As I go in to get ready for tonight's talk show, I just wanted to address the recent assassination attempt on Donald Trump and uh, the situation that happened. Now, first of all, I would like to point out to everyone that no politician ever started listening harder when you take away half the tools they need in order to do so. There was so much blood coming from his ear, I actually took the time to scan the screen to see if I could find Mike Tyson in the crowd. But now that I've got your attention with a couple of bad jokes, I wanted to address the reality of the situation. If you are gonna be a part of a true and democratic society, the place to make your stand is through protest peacefully, through rallies, through supporting the candidate that you feel is going to be bringing the best interests of the nation to light. When you are a part of a just and democratic society, you make your voice heard by casting a ballot. You make your voice heard by speaking and sharing your opinions in a well-spoken and articulate way that other people can understand and at least if they don't agree they can appreciate your understanding and your side of the issues. Furthermore, this is not an act of someone who is mentally stable and has a well-being that is centered. So I encourage everyone out there that if you are feeling the urge or having thoughts of harming yourself or others, whether it is a, a, pol a political candidate or anyone else, that you reach out to your local crisis hotline, ask for help. It's okay to say that you're not well. It's okay to reach out for help. It shows strength and character. So with that, I ask that whether you love Donald Trump, whether you hate Donald Trump, or any other politician, that you handle it in a peaceful and democratic way. With that, I wish everyone peace. I wish everyone respect and to continue to have the rights that the United States were found on. And that is including your right to free speech. Use the free speech. Use that right. Hold it close to your heart. Hold it sacred. Because some of the best weapons in history have been voices, have been words. Let that just sink in. Give that some thought. And remember, every person has a value in this world. Don't lessen yours by dropping to a level of violence. Once again, if you are feeling the urge, I implore you to reach out for help. It's okay to do so. Take care, everyone.